Hey everybody, welcome to Ghost Green Living Home Fix. My name is Daniel. There's something missing here. As you can tell, this uh, this is my flush system. And uh, there used to be a two liter bottle that, that filled up and flushed, and it's just gone. <laughs> it's gone. So one of the ropes is, is broke, and it's I, I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it in some tank. I, I don't know what happened to it, it's it's gone. Okay, so that gives us an opportunity because now I can go through step by step on how my flush system works and why I use the flush system. Now the reason I use a flush system is because of my pump. Now my pump is the biggest that I can handle on solar. Uh, you know, it, it does all that it can do. So what I do uh, to be able to get more beds to spread it out in a further direction is I combine all that water that's, that the pump is pumping and let it take a flush. And it'll spread out through, you know, through my 10 grow beds on that one side and the other 10 on the other side, uh, you know, evenly. So as you, as you can see, it's uh, the occupants is down. Even though it's hot in here, we need to fix it because there's a man down, and we can't have the aquaponic system down. So I use the the flush system uh, to uh, because I need that volume of water, and I'm going to have to I'm going to have to stop the uh, the aquaponics because it's going to just sit there and run. You see, there's something wrong. No, no fill up. It would be filling up and then flushing, and which we're going to go through that as we replace our two liter bottle. And I'll show you simple tricks on how to do that. And uh, and we'll, we'll talk some more about why I use the flushes. Like I said, it's pretty hot in here, <laughs> but it's okay. Anybody that knows me knows that they, when they go to looking for me, I'm probably going to look like this. In the greenhouse, uh, I, I got a bunch of stuff to do outside, but this is what I normally look like. But anyway, uh, so we first thing we need to do is to cut our bottle, and how I cut our bottle is I cut a square at the bottom, and just so I can have a feed tube that goes into that. And once I cut that square on the bottom, and you know, that's really the only cuts you have to make, I'll uh, heat up a nail with a, with a lighter uh, just for a minute and and then poke a hole through the lid so my two liter bottle will drain out uh, not too big but not too small either you want it to drain out uh, you know over a period of uh, 30 minutes or so uh, not 30 minutes uh, I'm sorry about 10 minutes you want it to drain out about a, about 10 minutes and then uh, then two small holes to hold the wire that's going to hold to our bar that actually flushes. And this time I, I used nylon cord uh, last time and it lasted two years, which, which isn't bad. Uh, it lasted two years. I'm, I'm happy with that. But this time I'm putting back wire and it's more of a, it's more of a lever action now. And you can see right here how uh, it just like a lever coming down it's more of an accurate flush it's not string it's not swinging around and and that's how the accidents happened before uh, speaking of accidents uh, as soon as I tested it out the first time look what happened go bigger <laughs> but anyway after we got we got it all wired up there uh, I'm gonna let you see on the inside of the tank now on the inside of the tank there's a, a two inch thread. Now that two inch thread is, a, a, it can fit a male PVC two inch pipe and I screwed it right up into the bottom of the barrel. And then from the top, I put a nut over the threads that were, were left. And then I just slid my uh, flusher uh, mechanism right in there and it screwed it right in and it, it fits and it's permanent. Uh, I had an air fill valve on it, but it didn't work very well, so I took it out. And now I just got the solid rubber. 
uh, valve and it works good and I don't have any problems with it. Uh, and then I took a bar, just found a bar, it was off of the uh, IBC for making the alcoponic system and I stuck it through the barrel and just kind of put it where the heavy side was inside the barrel and then uh, put two uh, just like lock pins through that so it didn't move back and forth uh, you know in the hole and then just had a feed tube that goes from the inside of the barrel to the uh, two liter bottle so when this tank overflows it's going to fill that two liter bottle weight it down pull it down and flush your system flush my system see I don't have uh, unlimited electricity so I have to use smaller pump so I had to be a little bit smarter about how I moved my water. I know it would be a lot less electricity just to pump it right into uh, the IBC, you know, for where the fish tank is. The, the problem with that is that I'm not pumping enough quick volume to, to flush all 10 of my grow beds on the left hand side. The right hand side uh, works through another system and, and it works through the same water but it's more of an overflow and it works pretty easy. Uh, so anyway, it, I have to have a large volume of water at once. When I do that, I get a flush every 18 minutes. It works good. Uh, it's been reliable for, uh, well, I don't know how many years. Uh, I have to check back on my other videos <laughs> and let you see that. But. Uh, I appreciate y'all coming. I appreciate y'all uh, learning about the uh, flush technique and for the aquaponics and uh, and all the other different ways we're doing aquaponics. Uh, Anna, you know, I gotta slip this in. Anna wants one of the aquaponics on wheels, and it's just a single barrel aquaponics on wheels. And she says, "But I want to run it with an air pump." So we're gonna build a uh, air air pump <laughs> and try to run aquaponics system on five watts of electricity <laughs> never know if it's gonna work I'm betting it will but y'all stick around y'all stay tuned and we'll let you uh, see that when we do it which will be soon all right guys I love you on a over later guys